Welcome to your Market Update and Charts of the Day. It's Friday the 17th of May. I hope you're well. I'm sure you're looking forward to the weekend. But for now, let's have a look at what's happening across markets as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. And of course, overnight, we saw US equities pause. We had a good start to the session in the US overnight, but gave up most of the gains and the major indices finishing slightly to the downside. There's still the expectations there, which has been talked about over September, rate could increase, but not surprising to see a little money coming off the table as we approach the end of the week from those record highs. US futures, however, are mildly positive in early Asian trading, but Asian markets are following that cautious US lead. The ASX is currently down around 0.51%, and European futures, simply because they closed at the high point of the US session are pointing to a soft open this afternoon. The US dollar index was very slightly positive. It's holding that 200 EMA and gold is still playing with those record highs. Copper pulled back a little from two year highs after a strong week and all hold support, but it's still under that 200 EMA in a tight range. We're not seeing much movement in Bitcoin. Uh, we're still around that short term resistance, uh, 66,600. And we've got Chinese industrial production and retail sales out. Eurozone CPI later, which could be significant. And we've also got Fed member speeches due tonight. I think there's four Fed members speaking at various points during the US day. A couple of charts have caught our eye today. EML are looking very interesting. A breach of 106. Uh, good us push up towards 117. We did have a go yesterday, uh, but failed to hold it into the close. Uh, likewise, today we are trading towards the highs of the session, but whether there's enough impetus there to take us through, whether it being a Friday or not, remains to be seen. Worthwhile checking in in the last hour. On the FX front, we're seeing weakness in the yen again against the euro. You can see there we had a move up during the US session and then a fairly tight range from back end of the US session and the early part of Asia, but now we're seeing the buyers come back in. This R1 pivot level at 169.38 looks key. If we just take this back to a four hourly chart, you can see there isn't much stop in it once it gets through this. And we could even see it move up to 171 over the course of the next couple of days, perhaps. But certainly there's a potential 55 to 60 pip move up to 170 if we breach 169.38. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.